<laughs> Welcome to Five Pints In, the show where we're literally five pints in. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers. I think I caught a nice little sound effect of the beer pour in there. It sounded uh sounded like a, a waterfall kind of soothing. Um From my end? No, 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 from me pouring it. Oh. I don't know if you heard it. Maybe, maybe I didn't catch it, but um, <laughs> um, before we start making fun of Connor for uh, wearing his scarf and his uh, shirt after the weekend result, um, I did want to say a uh, uh, listener, David Mottershead, emailed in say on the 23rd of September saying happy 5-1 day um, with a picture of you and Paul Lake. Yeah, fantastic day. Yeah. I've, I've, I was wearing that shirt the other day, actually, the 89 one. Yeah. With the triangles, the, you know. I mean, you yeah, know, they, they never forget. Yeah. It's always nice, you know. Treat it like a, a second birthday. Yeah. Yeah, but long, I just... Oh, look. Sorry? Long time ago, no. Yeah. I mean... Well, I've just got me first... <laughs> me first... Uh, I actually got fan mail today. Did you? Yeah. Sent two pictures. I think it's the first I've had in about <laughs> fifteen years. Something like that. I forgot how to do me me autograph. Yeah. And then the scary thing is, is how do you know where I live? <laughs> <laughs> it's because we posted on the uh, on the podcast Twitter. <laughs> Came to the house. We just dox you every week, <laughs> <laughs> but no one shows up. <laughs> I, think I, I should have checked the address to see if it was anywhere close. What uh? What is it? They sent just a picture for you to sign and send back. One of me West Ham kit, one of me Man City kit. Nice. Uh, you gotta believe me. I've already sealed it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> so I'll get that out there. You know, still, still relevant. Yeah. So if anyone uh, has any fan mail, you know, send it to. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um. Yeah. So all right. So the. Connor always complains that we don't talk enough about Chelsea, so let's start the episode by talking about Chelsea and a lot to say, isn't it? The result, the weekend. It, it was just, it was a great football weekend, wasn't it? Yeah. City mm-hmm. beating Chelsea, Liverpool drawing, United losing, yeah. West Ham winning, West Ham winning, and then West Ham winning in the Carabao Cup, knocking Man United out the week in, during the week oh. before. So it's it's been a good week. I mean, the only downside of the week was the, the golf. Yeah. The Ryder Cup shambles, the fiasco that it was, you know, uh, disappointing. I don't want to say too much about it. Obviously, being here in the States and getting mocked. But they were brilliant, to tell you the truth. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta hold your hand up. We didn't, I was going to say we didn't fight hard enough, but that's not the case. It just wasn't to be. Yeah. I hate it though. You wait so long, you know. Wait, are you to- I have no idea about the Ryder Cup. So. <laughs> Venting. I'm just venting, so anyone who's listening who does know about it, which yeah. meant back on well, won't they? I'm, yeah, I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be a, a lot of people, but I, yeah. yeah. No, I play golf every week. I'm big with my golf now. Yeah. Couldn't help but watch it. Yeah. Well, Disappointing. <laughs> well, back to the footy. Yeah. <laughs> that, that episode, it took six minutes to derail it into a new direction. Um, uh, yeah, so, I mean, like, me and Connor watched the game together. Uh, we we were meant to go out for it. We just stayed home for it. Um, Connor, what are your initial thoughts? Because I always hate watching Chelsea with you, Chelsea City, not Chelsea, Chelsea City with you, because it's like I'm either not wanting to celebrate too much or I'm not wanting to see you if Chelsea, which the last few times is what was what's happened, Chelsea beat City. So I I don't I don't glow. No, That's no. Not- you- Celebrating in front of you, mate, doesn't he? No, I know. I mean, you don't glow, um, but I just, you know, it just is what it is. Sure, yeah. So, um, but you can't, you can't be upset when no, I think I'm, City. I'm, I'm fine with, I'm fine with what happened. Um, it was the first time we played Werner and Lukaku together. You know, it was, it was a little shaky, but it looks like it could be touched up and 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 be uh, something, you know. Ian showed the, that they know who the top team is. Mm-hmm. I think Chelsea Chelsea showed City so much respect 
enough first off. Too much, yeah. Uh, you, I don't I, no. I don't. I don't think it was. No, I don't think. It, them, I don't think them. it was. No, no, nah, neither. I don't think it was. I will say though, like Chelsea were. No, they just the, they didn't look. They weren't playing out from the back like no, like I've no. seen them. Well, they look, yeah. well, yeah, sure. Um, but I, I don't know. The first twenty minutes, I, I was I was fine. I was just like, yeah, let let them let them pass the ball about. You like, said, yeah, it got it got a little shaky at times, but that you said that was supposed to be like like covered up for. And I mean, look at the goal. It's a it's a fluke of a goal, you know. But it's champions of Europe. And you're sitting there like your your Southampton or. I mean, or what what are you what are you talking Red- about? You you can't take out the fact that you're Man City and you're gonna outpass anyone. You know, there's no argument to that. Like even when Real Madrid would win the league, they'd still get dominated by Barcelona. You know, when they I think them, I think honestly, it was two different classes of teams playing. I, I the think, result didn't do it justice. I think all the no. I think I think Tuchel tried a new thing out. Um, I mean, <laughs> he didn't try a new thing out. He, he came. What do you mean, to, what he, do you mean he didn't try? A new I thing said out? to you before what a defensive team he's put out with two up top, two up top, what? but three ho- sort of like across. No attack, no number ten really, and no wingers. I mean, well, was, what, 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 like that's ben. exactly what James and James and Alonso have been playing. They didn't get forward much. at all. Well, yeah, I mean, what would you? It was a what five three do, two. What would you do the first twenty minutes of City? I do you go whatever. Press them? I'd do whatever you did in the Champions League. Would you? Yeah, exactly. Well, the, Which the is, three games before, yeah, that you beat us one 0 that you wouldn't stop half and on about last yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, and not exactly the same as that. Which was sit back and counter attack. Exactly. You, you sat back. You didn't counter attack. Exactly. You didn't come off. Yeah, the yeah, that's fine. All right, but when when you're like when you start Werner and you're relying on him, and yeah, he must have started the last three games that that you beat us. Yeah, I know, and look what happened. He did exactly what. Yeah, what happened? I'm, ju- I'm just saying, what, if, like that. If Werner could actually fucking finish, you would have been shit in your pants. You know, he had one or two. Moments. I know, but imagine, imagine him in form. He's getting more than one he and two. Have form. It, the, him yeah. out of form, he does have form. Him, him out of if form finished, is getting two chances against City. Think about if that. Finish. You know? I would have paid all that money for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think too cool. I think finish. I think finish. If, finish is the word because I think he is finished. Okay, he's not he's, finished. He's he, he, never, he never started. <laughs> he's just like. Yeah, let me tell you this. If that picks up with him. Which it easily can, with Lukaku there, just everyone. How long have you given it? I mean, it could, it could, it could last. It, you could. Uh, he won't play like that again against any other team. I bet you he will. Hands down, he will. Everyone defenders, they're either attracted to, they either all go to Werner or they either all go to Lukaku, and you can't just have like. If you leave these with one on one with a defender, they're gonna they're gonna do damage. If one is in the slightest bit of form, that is it, it's the not, most. It, that's it's the not. that's the best attacking front line in the in the whole of the Premier League. I don't think form is the right word to use with him though. It's whether he ac- accidentally scores. If or he, not. No, 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 no. You're basing this whole him having absolutely no confidence. You're saying that's Werner. Him. Getting in the six yard box and still trying to pass it across the goal. That's not who Werner is. And like, you, you both know that. That's not just cause he's doing, Torres wasn't what Torres was at Chelsea. You can't say that's who he is cause he just, he just went and I'm not saying Werner did as much as Torres, but you, you can compare the two. One was like, they, they are finishers. You know, like, Werner's not a finisher. Uh, yeah, in the sense, like I get that because of what I say about Antonio. He's as much as a finisher as Antonio. No, but, but Werner's just no, got, no, no, Werner's, no. Werner can turn quicker than anyone, and he's got he, he's quicker over the first five yards, and he's quicker over the the next twenty. You know, he's so like, he's and like, that's that's a deadly. That's yeah, very but with the saying with the expression the Werner's turned, not <laughs> Werner's turned. <laughs> <I'm> confused. <laughs> What does that say? Mate? Does that say? Him, mate, he had one. He had one opportunity where he, there was a through ball, 
I know and he what decided to slow down. I know. I know. And run, run wide left. I know. It. He reminds me of. Uh, it's fine. He reminds me of Theo Walcott. Like his legs are fast. Like he's fast. He can run really fast, but his brain doesn't keep I, up. I, with I his promise legs. you. I pro- I'm not saying. I'm not saying it's definitely gonna happen, but it definitely could happen. He just needs to. It's. It's like the the gears just need the cogs just need. Well, um, look, but. Greasing. Honestly, like enough about that though. Like I thought, City looked really good. They look. You, you looked all right. You know. I mean, like, we we you, you looked you looked. We had the, the we had the I, champions I took, of Europe took, pinned back I, in the final third. I mean, I mean, as much as you're trying to say that to like as an insult, it's it's fucking it's music to my ears that you're saying that, and you saying it two minutes ago as well. The champions I never said of it Europe. in that context. I said you're supposed to be the champions of Europe. Well, that's, that's the same that, context. That and I said no, we had. Yeah. He said we had the champions of Europe in back. I never said it like that. Yeah, but it's still said, they're both thing. negative connotations. But either way, all I'm saying is the biggest thing for me was your players knew that they were up against the best team in the league. Well, that they were up against a better team than they are. No. Whether you yeah. whether you beat them three no. times the last. No, the last no, 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 no. Is no, irrelevant. No, no, no. Your players should no. be up there. No. We don't play no. this team. No, no, no. And this, this is where you fall. And, I and you fall. get, you, oh. no, City. If, if City are think like that, they're way too confident. They're not going to think like I, that. I, after that game, after that game, I, I, City I immediately be- said, okay, we'll, we'll beat you. We'll beat you at the end. You also said City, the City players will tire out after the first 30, 40 minutes if they press this hard. Let's I figured they would because I thought, I thought Chelsea would have came out. Uh, let's, let's go topic, you know, the biggest thing everyone's talking about, about City. They still played with no centre-forwards, and you played with two, and we still go and win the game. Yeah. Yeah, by a fluke goal that your centre-forward scored. Fluke goal, mate. What do you expect is going to happen when you're packing five defenders in your sure. penalty? Yeah. All game? Sure. It was also, it, it was a it was a new formation, and we tried it out on you, and sadly... It wasn't, it wasn't, it was, it was a, it was a reaction to City coming. He... He went defensive at home. It's fear. No, I mean it's not try. Let's try a new formation. Oh, City's City's coming to play. Let's try a new formation. I mean, well, first of all, it's not like he was like, I right, gotta try this first new thing of all, out. I wanna find the right time to try I'm it. I'm gonna say this before either of you try say that. I would say that this is such a huge factor. But Reese James getting injured was a huge factor of of how if Chelsea were able to go forward or not. It, the goal been scored already? How come you went to Anfield and he gets sent off and you don't do that then? He actually looked better against Liverpool away with 10 men when he's Liverpool off. Nothing, that Liverpool is nothing compared to that City. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That didn't need to be said. <laughs> yeah, you but know? we wanted you Have to you say Have you seen Mane? Like, yeah, he's been bad. I just think, I mean, I just think... Henderson's been one of Liverpool's best players. You know, to, to start That's, off, to, for the week, for the week base. City have right now, I mean, we've got PSG away tomorrow, or today when this, this episode comes out. We've got Liverpool away on Sunday to start it with a win against Chelsea. And, I mean, I know, like, yeah, Chelsea are, to me, are usually tougher than that. But whether it's, you know, we can, we can say, oh, Chelsea did this different or City did this different. I think it was down to City just looking, it, it just looked like a well oiled machine, you know? I seen flaws in Chelsea against Villa as well. Yeah. 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 But like I said, against the Villa game, I think you's, uh, somewhat near the peak of what you're going to get this season. I think, I think we're nowhere near what we're going to get. We just we come off the back of a nil nil home draw with Southampton. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm saying you've already played close enough to some of your peak performances. You're gonna have this. I don't know. Weekend. I mean, you've had two five nils. You know. Look, here's a yeah, but De Bruyne has just come back and Foden's just come back. Yeah, so I know. Not, no. Okay, but I mean, yeah. That that's that's so how how would we really be at peak if they're technically not at well, peak no. yet? Well, I'm just saying like there's not like it was still just as much domination, you know, like 
whether he, like yeah, it's but, not like if Foden and De Bruyne were there, you're gonna win twelve nil. You know, it probably still would have been five nil. No, they were both there. I'm just saying if they were at peak. I'm saying as they as yeah, they get back sure. to full fitness. But yeah, but that's my point. I don't think I, I I'm not I don't think you having your you're gonna have your best eleven in their most peak form this season. That's that's hard uh, to ask for. You know, close. It's even nowhere close to be flowing like they like they will be. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to. It's hard to get that. And right now, Chelsea are in there. All it takes is fucking Lukaku to get injured. And then the whole ships. You know? It's like... I, but if yeah. he doesn't, I think we are a serious, serious, serious threat. And you need you shouldn't take that game lightly. Like you are doing right now. No, I'm not taking it lightly. What do you mean taking it lightly? I'm saying like, it was just like domination. It was... Well, I'm telling you, the first half was I'm, I, uh, the first half in itself. Sure, was but, like Chelsea's yeah. half come. That doesn't mean City. Yeah. I, I'm not saying City are going to play that way against every single team. I mean, like you just said, we just came off a nil-nil draw with Southampton. I mean, I mean, look what happened when we started to press when we shouldn't have pressed. You just could have scored like two or three more goals. Yeah, I mean, he was wrong saying four or five. It could have been said, four or five. He said three or four. But that's what happens with City yeah. anyway. Yeah. Gotta get the first goal. If they don't get the first goal, teams fear them. Yeah. Teams sit back. You know, if you'd have come out and been open and expansive like you were against Villa, it'd have cut you to ribbons. I mean, absolute Tuchel actually yeah. did the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying, yeah, exactly. It'll be seen stupid. when you look at the two, how the two teams think of each other. Yeah, there's only one that fears the other. I, I, I mean, sh- I don't think it's fear because we've just proved that we could. Do, I mean, Chelsea have been doing this for 20 plus years. We can prove that we can play like this, just sit back, not really going, and then still win the game. Against, you know, go dominate, go dominate the second half, you know? And we, and we proved we could do that against the second half. I, yeah, we did. in other games. I, yeah, but, and we proved we could do that against the best. Yeah, but what we're saying is City showed that they're, better than the next best in the Premier League. You could do that against Liverpool. You could easily do it against Man United. You could do it against... I mean, Arsenal and Tottenham don't really come next in that sentence, but you know what I mean? Like, Sure, but you, I mean... You did it against Villa, yeah, fine, sure. but it, it could have been a... It, I don't know. I, I Sure, but yeah, give, give, give Tuchel, you know, as many years as Pep, and do we have a, as well of an oil machine? Maybe I mean it's yeah. hypothetical. Sure, it's just like just because that like this time that's how this outcome was doesn't mean it, se- it sets the strong. season like everyone was saying like it's it's I such see, an important I game it sets the tone of the season and who's gonna win. I think that's ridiculous. I see Chelsea being stronger, Con. I don't see them being that well over machine for the next ten years. What, what City have been? Oh no, no, no! I'm not saying that. I'm saying, but it's that, it's all, there's a lot more factors you, you got to take into consideration, especially when our our goal scorer is only four games in. I don't, I like, don't think who we look to I, I to get our goals. You're, you know? you're like, being you're being a bit defensive right now, and I think it's maybe because of stuff you've been reading. I don't think that game defines the season by any means. I'm just I'm just oh, happy to see City. Go to Stamford Bridge and oh, put yeah. on a, a performance yeah, like yeah. that. It was it was great for you. Yeah, I'm not. But it I'm wasn't not, so bad for us. I'm not saying we've won the league. I mean, it, look. Oh no, got, I'm saying everyone else is saying that. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't buy into that uh-huh. at all. It's well, yeah, be you tough. were saying that because they were saying that as it was happening, and you were saying no, this doesn't mean we win the league. Yeah, not at all. But I, I just I'm happy to see because we've had such a controversial summer. I think mm-hmm. Man City has with the potential signing of strikers and. You know, to, yeah, to, to score as many goals as we have. And, you know, I, I don't know. I, I mean, people just want something to talk about. They want news to talk about. They want... For the Southampton, they will say it's because there's no certain forward. But it's bullshit. I mean, I, I, am I happy we don't have one? No, not really. I'm not. I'd like to see a fulcrum. I'd, I'd like to see someone who is in it hanging around there. I mean, the, the big talk about Harry Kane now is, oh, he's coming too deep. I've been saying that for years. Yeah. Been saying that every time he plays for England. Been saying that, but but last season he goes and gets as many as assists as he gets goals. So now it looks as if he's doing the right thing. Yeah, he go, goes through the, the turmoil of the summer, and is he going to to City, which 
you know, not a big admirer of him, but I would have loved it yeah. for us to get the forward. We didn't get him. So what? You go back and you are up on that. All, all the attack-minded players that we have and, and the quality that we've got to come in and, and mix around. And it's only when teams bed in like that that they find it tough. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it's, okay, it's been... I see Southampton was an exception for me. Mm-hmm. They didn't bed in. It was an exception. That's the first time, if anything, that I've seen we haven't been able to break down or look like we were going to break down. Yeah. A team that was actually open and coming to play football. But you know the funny they, thing? More than Chelsea did, come. Southampton did it away at City more yeah. than Chelsea did. All right, but I think, I mean, I just wanted to get this out there real quick. I just think at this time period, like, it was, it, it was just, like, it was unfortunate that it was City this early. I know you could say, like, people I mean, have had worse runs. We had, we had Tottenham that early. Yes, like, yeah, uh, sure, but I'm saying, like, it, it, just, it, looked, it looked worse for Chelsea because of just, like, the circumstances. Like, I think if we played four games from now, it, it's a completely different game. But it could be <laughs> good for, for better or for worse. Yeah, yeah. Exa- exactly. To give a little bit exactly. of credit, in all, honest, in all honesty, to give you a little bit of credit, I can maybe think Tuchel sees City as the best team in the league and the big threat, and he's saying, OK, let's maybe get a draw and stay three yeah. points ahead of them, because them three points will be massive towards sure. the end of the Yeah, season. that's exactly what I'm saying. I don't think, that, that's why, I don't think that's fear. I think it's he's tactical. He's gone in saying... This, we've never played this formation before. You know, this, we're only, like, Kovacic is only playing because he's, uh, he's been on a little bit of a hot run. Conte just came back. Maybe, maybe you know? it's, maybe fear isn't the right word. So, maybe it, yeah, it's like, it, it's, it's just, it's, it's just, just logical, but, he, but he definitely went you know? into it with his. <laughs> well, I said respect. Yeah, respect, but yeah, also, respect, yeah. also with his guard up, you know, it was like, yeah. he, he, it's like, he tried to embrace City. Of course, yeah. And, and, I don't think he would have been able to do that at, if it was at the Etihad. I think it no. would it would have been He'd be stupid to try that at the Etihad. Like yeah. but at the same time, I mean well, No, I'm mean insane for the sheer fact that like people are or people are supposed to already be intimidated playing away from home. So you're supposed to already have that slight factor. Yeah. So add that into the mix of like bedding in and then having two centre forwards that like need two defenders on them at all times. It kinda and Kovacic on the little run that he's been on. James coming back. I you don't know, think. Alonso I don't think in the being as ta- yeah. attack minded as he's been lately. You know. I just think, weirdly enough, for me, as good a, of a manager as Tuchel is, he basically took over Lampard's five at the back and hasn't. I like. I don't think he played five at the back at PSG, did he? Or or at Dortmund? I just don't. Th- I just don't know if he's working it's, with the players he has. But like, honestly, Chelsea's weakness are their centre backs, and now you've got three of them. Yeah. on the pitch. But that's why well, like, that's what happened. Man, really good managers can see what he has in his squad and and adapt and change. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, if you keep if you keep doing the things you're doing against every single team, you'll come on yeah. stuck. That's what happened you know, in Spain. Just yeah. up and change and, and and it's not just one thing. Obviously if one thing works for you every single week, you you, you run with it. Yeah. But when you're not the, the best team in the league or when you know there's other challenges when you know what the clubs have got strong in the in the off season, you have to be able to adapt. As a top top coach, you have to be able to adapt. Mm-hmm. Well, you know? that's, why, that's why Pep's not somewhere with his fucking feet kicked up on his desk. He's scratching his head, trying to always figure every week, out every how day. to beat every single well, team. That's what I, million, that's what I was gonna say. Even before the Southampton game, those comments that we addressed, you know, about come on, fans, get out there. It's almost like he was preluding, like, he knows where his players are at, and he knows what kind of game they're going to give. He knows how hard they've been working and how tired. It it was, it's just so weird. It's like he almost (laughs) predicted, uh, the nil-nil or the result not going our way before even, you know, before it happened. Like, he's thinking about football. Oh, he said that before the Sam, the fan thing, before the Southampton? Yeah. Before the Chelsea. Before Southampton. Oh, okay. And it's and then nil nil, you know. It's like so he's sitting there thinking about every he's, aspect of get the backlash of it, or yeah, if players not really getting on, and they didn't get up for it, did they? To no. be fair, but that's the most sort of lethargic and and passive that I've seen them for a long time. But he knew that he knew that was yeah. 
He knew that was going to be it was going to be that way. And but I'm not staying. Look, Tuchel is a top coach. He's proved that. Oh it, yeah. That, mm-hmm. like, proved that at Chelsea, and he will continue. But he he will have hiccups along the way, mate. And of course, and, you know, unless it's, it's a bounce back and how you adapt. Unless and, unless his players cover him, you know. Look, as the, as as a it's, team, it's, 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 it's been working. Exactly, yeah. and one of your best players. And, and yeah. well, I mean, the whole thing about the three thing and they're all terrible. No, the, uh, they're not all terrible. They, they kind of are. I mean, Thiago Silva is obviously quality, but he's also ancient, isn't he? So yeah. Chalobah as well, that can come in. Gone, who's not bad. Who, oh, sorry, Chalobah. Oh, Chalobah. I like. He's, he's not bad. He's not coming and well. necessarily. Well, he's good enough to let Zuma go. Yeah, yeah. but um, I mean, Christian Z. No, he's, he's been so... Down for a but that's the thing. There's, there's two others there to cover up the other's mistake. Yeah. Instead of just having that's, the one. It's you know? true, but I'm just saying... like and James plays of, back there as well. Ashley the amount Quire of attack... But the amount of, of attack as Chelsea have, I just don't think that's the final formation Chelsea... I don't think... Like, as he evolves the, the team and the squad and, and, his, and his own managerial style, I don't think that's, I don't think that's the formation he, he ends up with. With obviously he's had success with Chelsea. I'm not saying he hasn't, but I just think there's an evolution of it where there's not that many defenders, especially you know. I mean, playing. I don't know. You're talking about a team that has like 140 people on the roster at one. Uh, yeah, that's point, you know, that's like, not that's not play back there. The, don't he, don't but, quite back yeah, there. yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, and, I'm just and James <laughs> as well. So there's an abundance. But look, there's a reason Chelsea. It's not, it's I, not like you guys with. Diaz, Laporte, and yeah. Stones, where it's like but that could that, potentially be the that best. Shouldn't, that shouldn't dictate how he plays just because there's a hundred and whatever players well, on no, the roster. No, but having three, at, having three, at, like that whole, I still think that's going to be a dominant for. It has been a dominant formation, and I think it will be a dominant formation for a, a really long time. Maybe who who knows? I mean, it's evolving all the time. When Pep started, it was four two three one, wasn't it? It was. I mean, I know it was like that before, but. It's what he he adapted, and then he yeah, sort sure. of ch- turned it into the four three three, and then now the false nine. But what I was gonna say is, you know, I, I, as you know, as a Chelsea fan, when you're at the top, especially in the Premier League, your biggest fear or you know concern is the next manager taking a team to new levels, right? And that's what Tuchel's been doing. I mean, he's been. I mean, Jurgen Klopp was it yeah. a few years ago. Now it's too cool, and you know City have kind of been at the top for a little while, but it's always the fear of looking. You know, it's nice to look down, but there's always someone coming for you. So, the just to just to sum up, beating Chelsea one nil at Stamford Bridge, it's kind of like, okay, it's not quite like as it's not as bad as it seems losing three three in a row against this Chelsea with this manager. There is, uh, you know, there there is. It's, he's not he's not bulletproof. You know, that's yeah, what, that's what. We're comfortable I mean, in the fact. We're com- comfortable in the fact that when Klopp comes and does it, Pep steps up again. Yeah. Now, yeah. Klopp does it. Pep's going to step up again. Okay, yeah. but I think he has that other managers, other great managers, and I do think Tuchel and Klopp are great managers. They don't have yet. I don't believe. Or it's to be seen. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, because yeah, big. I mean, big. You need to be tested. Some yeah. people don't even get and, those. And the thing is, too, I think I do think Tuchel will show that. I think Klopp has shown a bit of that, but he's I don't know. I, we've said this before, and and I, I don't know if it's you know the bias Screams or whatever, loose. but yeah. he, he's just he's fallen back a bit. Obviously, in the past few years. Well, yeah. Well, in, in all honesty, I think they're all at their right clubs to do that. Oh yeah. Pop suits Liverpool, Tuchel suits Chelsea, Pep suits nah, City. I, you know nah, what I'm saying? I don't. I don't think Klopp suits Liverpool. I think he does. I, I, I think. I think. Joker. I think Klopp's turning Liverpool into old man United. That's I. I said that the other day. I don't and think he's it's getting. Ma- it's making me dislike. But Liverpool. I don't. I don't think he's getting any help with Mane being out of form. He needs to. I think truly he needs to get rid of Mane or Salah. I don't think he can have both. Look, look. I think Firmino's been out for quite a while, so I don't think he's he's had that option. But right? Di- he's only just come. Diego, Diego Jota. 
He's yeah, but yeah, but Firmino does. He's been does, scoring. Firmino he's, does he's got, things. He's does got, things that don't that go unnoticed. Firmino's yeah, down, yeah. Left down a middle role, and yeah. Jota comes to the left, and he if Mane's out of sorts, then he takes yeah. him out. So he has that. He has that option. That's why he brought Jota in anyway. Yeah, he didn't bring him in to play down the middle. No, Firmino's that crafty one that that yeah. does things down. He does. A, he's been head as Jota. He's been he yeah. scored two headers in his last three goals. I think Firmino has a special kind. Ca- yeah. Firmino has a special kind of role. I, I, I like kind of like. I mean, when Aguero was in the school, different to the other three, right? The other three, you could say are a similar type. Not, not exact, but you know, they're they're, they're mainly starting wide. Yeah, coming into the centre. But Firmino sort of starts in the middle and drops deep and pulls the centre back. Here's the difference to the, to the three. Yeah, but that's what made it work. That's what makes it work. Not having three the same. Yeah. Which I, I yeah, I mean I disagree with you. I think I think Jurgen Klopp is when Jurgen Klopp's in the right mindset, I think he is the perfect manager for Liverpool. He's Liverpool. What he's Maybe done to them like fans and for them fans you. for that club no. and the if he has with them. Yeah. Nah, I, he he, think he he complains, he whines too much. He's Oh he does, yeah. He's, that that's not that's not Liverpool to me is is you know, like, but I think he'll get just, back. I think, I think just he on, how long like, they went, honest, but strong. Think, yeah, you know, get how long they went and they accepted. I don't, yeah, sure, but I mean, they still had Gerard for eighteen years. You know, they still had world, 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 world class players. It wasn't like they. It's not like what happened to Leeds. You know, where they went down a couple of seasons. Liverpool. It, 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 I don't think he's a like. I, I like him. I, I love the this whole like competition. I love the it's entertainment, you know, just seeing him. But he he like irks me too much. I, I he, well, I agree. I I started off loving him, and then he just same. He, he, yeah, he, and he's 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 turned. He's, but he's I still think Liverpool for me. But I still think there's there's a new. I still think he'll revive whatever he had in the beginning, and when when they won the Champions League a couple seasons ago, I th- I still think he'll. I still think he'll, he'll get it's that like back. He, I mean, look, no, he won the league last. Uh, he'll win trophies. 20, I'm you, yeah, doesn't matter what the FA Cup. Maybe the Champions League again. He may. He may. Well, he uh, the league, I don't know. It's it's like he's it's something sour happened, and he's well, just he's permanently bitter. Look, he's got Gerard you know? breathing down his neck, doesn't he? It's it's what happened when you've gone from being champions to losing it to I'm, not defending. It. I mean, probably, look at look at Pep. Pep Where's doesn't he? do that. Pep's won the Champions League with numerous teams and lost the Champions League with numerous teams. Have it, and then you get it once, you expect it again. And yeah. and look, I do agree. I've I've seen him win. I'm not saying he's not winning, but I'm trying to find a reason why. I'm trying to say this is him. They went that many years without winning it, and he brings them. He brought them the Champions League, and then and then the Premier League. Yeah. What, 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 and well, now yeah. you expect. I'm, I'm now you expect uh... Probably feels a little bit bitter that he had the, all them injuries and the Champions League best final two he, years in a row as well. Yeah, but you know what I mean. He's, he's used to getting stuff and getting his own way. It's like a petulant child. Yeah, yeah, but he's not. Him some, all of a sudden, it's not there. They're gonna freaking beat the hands and feet on the yeah, floor. Yeah, exactly. He's not a he's not a child though. That's the point. Like, yeah, but this game brings the child out in you, mate. You you watch you watch the players and how they act. It is full of children, trust me. Well, yeah, and it only gets worse and worse. Doesn't mean it's acceptable, you know. No. I mean, look, I just we'll go back and uh, last time I said I've just watched golfers crying for losing. Now, crying when you're winning is one thing. Crying when you lose, a little bit childish to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what, what Clark crying? does. Well, Rory was trying to say. I'm I'm upset because I didn't bring enough. Really, you're upset because you didn't bring enough. Yeah. Can you believe that you're upset because now the the perception or the way you looked? You know what I mean? Is it is it a child's cry? Is it a man's cry? I don't know. Yeah. I'm probably you're probably gonna get a lot of people having a go now because men can cry. <laughs> I'm not saying men can't cry. You know, it's what you're crying for. Yeah. And he, that's what he's doing. He is, you're right, the right word is whinging. Klopp has been whinging. Yeah. 
when he doesn't get his own way. But you watch every single manager on the touchline. How many times they run to the fourth official? How many times they scream for the penalty? When they know there's VAR, what's the point in screaming when they're going to have a look at it? And it's going to be what the idiots want it to be anyway. So, so well, what that, is the that's, that sort of thing? That's why I, I like managers like Pochettino and I dislike managers like how Klopp's acting, you know? I mean, Sol- right. Solskjaer's got to be worse Solskjaer's than Solskjaer's dead level with Because he has not, well, he has not the success. So, Solskjaer's a literal he, baby. Manages certain clubs, he probably suits Man United. <laughs> no, he suits like the Man United's U12 women's yeah. side, maybe. <laughs> he, he, I can't understand what is going on. Like, he literally is managing Ronaldo His, right now. So, and Pogba and... Well, you can't get knocked out of the Carabao Cup with a team like that. You can't, like, you can't, you can't, you, with a team like that, you've got to be first and second, first or second in the Premier League. You the, can't, yeah, but they're playing West Ham. No, no, don't do West Ham an injustice. Though. No, no, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. I'm just saying in general, you've got Ronaldo, Pogba, Varane. I was going to say Fred. <laughs> oh, just <fuck>. kidding. <laughs> just, oh, you're going to start naming the Flintstones. No, no. <laughs> um, who else? I mean, they've got you. You got to give him. Look, I'm you got to give him credit that he can. Do. And then he got stuck there. Look, yeah. West Ham. West Ham is. West Ham is. I mean, West Ham should have should have beat Man United in the league as well with the setup they have. But with a with a better manager and those players, I mean, that oh should a, be a, yeah. a ridiculous team. That yeah, should like, be a world class. Like team. what we were saying in the beginning. Oh my God! Look at uh, looking at United. The it's going to be a huge title race between like maybe six teams. Now it now just I'm seems just City and Chelsea. Yeah, I'm not scared anymore. Yeah. Well, well you'll find... Uh, you, you might think different over the weekend when City go to Liverpool. And then it might just be City and Chelsea. You don't know. But, but, but I'm just glad Ronaldo didn't score because of the bet we have. Yeah. So there's one game that I've... All right. Can I say something? I feel like he's going to... I feel like he's going to... It's it's just meant to be, isn't it? He's going to ruin... He's going to ruin... Uh... I didn't watch the game. I didn't watch the game, right? I've seen the extended highlights, and I don't think I've seen them mentioned maybe once. The Villa game? the shot low and left. The Villa game so, or West Ham? So really, no, the, the, the game at Villa at home that they yeah. lost. Did you see, um, so so Bruno Fernandes got the penalty in the... In, yeah, that in was brilliant, wasn't it? Hey, did, you see, that. did you see Emi Martinez? Is it Martinez? The Villa goalie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, the goalkeeper. He was going up when when they were all standing on the penalty spot. He was looking at Ronaldo saying, you take the penalty, you take the penalty. Okay. Obviously okay. getting in Bruno Fernandez's head. You take the penalty, you take... He kept pushing him. The and then Ronaldo's guys, like going up like... He's saying... Yeah. Take the, and Pog was the end of the to, like, bring and the when, when, If he's on the penalties, they get quite a few, don't they? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But when... What him from me back? When Fernandez is... Well, he'll take the next one, won't he? So when Fernandez has, has blasted her over, uh, Martinez is like dancing on the post and stuff. <laughs> it's yeah, that was really, nice, really man. funny clip. Um, yeah, but so. Well, Connor, I think you had Villa to beat them anyway. Yeah, I did. I said that. And, um, who texted me? Um, when Josh texted me, he's like, "All you, he saw the scores. He's like, all your scores are messed up." Well, he mentioned the City Chelsea thing, which fair enough. Sure. No, it was because it, it was because I got I had City to win one nil. Hell yeah! Um, I won. Sorry, I had two one. I thought Chelsea were actually going to have a shot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you know, I don't blame you. Let's actually talk about the predictor really quick. Just the final results, because we've kind we, of are we we've kind of skimmed over that because no one's wearing an out of place. We got past it. We, we're on to the next one. <laughs> no one's wearing an out of place shirt, right? So you would have had one point if it wasn't for um, the result you got today. No, if it wasn't for Brighton equalising in the ninety fifth minute. Yeah, it would have been one point the worst ever. Yeah, I'm I don't know that. I don't think I've even got one. It would have point. been two points because I really meant to put Everton to win one nil and I put one nil loss against Norwich. So you must believe me with that one. Honestly, I don't know because I don't know because Everton week. Everton just lost three 0 the game before, didn't they against them? Um, I'll tell you now. What? Oh, um, whenever I play at home against one of them teams, I always do 1 0. They lost 2 0. Uh, uh, Q- no, they didn't lose 3 0, did they? Did they not? They got knocked out of the cup by QPR. Maybe that's what I was thinking. On penalties, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Two two. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they drew two each. I think no, they lost on pens. Yeah, but they're up there, mate. They're one of the teams on. Oh 13. yeah, they they lost three 0 to Villa. Yeah, they did away. I had Villa to yeah, beat that, them. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that was their last Premier League game. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah, were. Right. Was, yeah, but when they play at home, I normally happens to win one 0 Yeah, I thought you were texting me saying I got it wrong, and I was like checking it like. No, I didn't know if I've got one wrong, then I put them all in order. Yeah, and we didn't know whether we when, were going to give you the point or not. But got them all. Yeah, we'll give or, you. The... Or what would have been better for me, probably. We'll give you the point. No, we won't now because you it's... Want the point. Oh, oh, it wait. doesn't change anything. Uh, then. No, what? It's... In the end, you got three. You got four. four. So we'll give. You can have a five. It's... Yeah, you can have a five because I think someone got. Oh. I think we've all had three before, the... so it's not the lowest. The problem is we don't we don't have a punishment for you. So Good. just wait. And... So you now you owe you owe Connor a punishment and you owe. The podcast the punishment. But I hate more than anything when I don't do West Ham to win and they win. You know, I think one of you had them to win as well. 3 2, wasn't it? I think it? we both had that. I got mm-hmm. the correct result on West Ham as well, 2 1. No, you had to, to, to draw 2 2, kind no, of thing. No, he had 3 2 West Ham. I had 2 1 West Ham. Mm. And I had 5 1 each. Yeah. Right? It should, it should so have I got, been more I got, goals. I got the City result correct. I had 1 0 and I got the West Ham result correct, 2 1. So right. the podcast fans must, they, must love me. They were good. Values and then, for their um, win as well. Yeah. And Antonio getting another goal, can't joint yeah. leading scorer in the league. Dad. The fella can't finish. Dad, I literally, I literally said to him. It's I, just, you know what it is? He, so Connor's, so we're in this fantasy team league and Connor has him and he's trying to get Lukaku off me for Antonio. So he's talking, he, he's, he's. Antonio has had, got the most points, more points than anyone in, in anything right now. So he's like the hottest commodity. Yeah. And Lukaku's a risk. I might, t- I might take the trade. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, take it, take it all day. Anyone? Okay, I know it's a biased fan base, but anyone listening, should I give Connor Lukaku for Antonio? Let us know. I, yeah, I would. I would take him. Yeah, <laughs> I'm out in a heartbeat. Yeah, Lukaku doesn't do things in big games. He'll get more goals and definitely get more assists, mate. So if you get points for assists as well, I said. Uh, but I wanted to say, literally, like. The second, like before, who was it? Noble that picked up the ball? Oh, the, for the... Who, who, who played Antonio? Yeah, it was Noble. I'm pretty sure that played the ball. Declan Rice. Declan Rice. Was it Rice? Yeah, he went down the right side. Yeah, yeah. the right yeah. side. And then, pretty sure it was Noble. But, no, um, Declan Rice. Okay. But um, I literally said it, like, right before he played the ball. Even to Antonio, I'm just like, I just need Antonio to score. And he just gets the ball, it yeah. starts bobbling to him, and then all of a sudden he's one-on-one with the keeper. He does really well. And, oh, and he, 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 ball in. Yeah. And he got then soaked it by around one of the defenders. Yeah. The last defense. Yeah. Well, that, well no, it, it, was, it, was, it wasn't the best ball to him. You know, that's what I'm saying. And then it's like... It was the only place it could have gone. Oh, well, no, I'm saying it. on the floor, obviously, if like... De Bruyne would have been able to... Uh, it bounced, then he had to deal with it. Well, that's I mean, what I'm saying. That's why he, he dealt with it, and he dealt with it well. Even though he got away from him, he still got there before the defender, and then... He dealt, like a, he dealt with it like a quality finisher. Like somebody who's been yeah. playing seven no, he didn't. all his life. He no, did. he didn't, because it, it got... The way he sh- controlled it, he did. No, it didn't. Oh, it, it, because what are you talking about? His, his ben, first ben touch... Been playing it, seven it, forward all his life. His first touch... It, it wasn't like him. His first touch took it five yards away from him. It, it's Around just, the defender, though. No, no, no. To, exactly no, 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 exactly to the There's defender. Stretching forward because it bounced. That's what it was. It, no, it, oh, was, yeah. it wasn't It was Yeah, it wasn't the best first touch because he wasn't thinking, I'm going to touch this so the defender can barely get there and I'll just poke it around him. It's just no. those three seconds, he's like, oh, shit, I can poke All this right, around look, but him. But how many times you know? is he going to do it before you say, okay? If he does it cleanly, then then, yeah. Yeah, that's you that's know, my whole speaking point. Speaking of um, not... speaking of Declan Rice, you know he has the most passes and uh, ball carries into the final third in the Premier League this season, and and he would have more if he had a bit more freedom to go. Yeah, because Su- I mean Suchek gets more. It was freedom. Declan Rice. Right. No. Yeah. It it was Rice that assisted him, but that just goes to show. I'm uh that's giving a compliment to Rice. It's well, funny, I'm I keep I keep watching him and and I'm not just saying this makes me seem like I hate West Ham. 
And he, he just doesn't look like he's going to, like, body someone or stand up or be able to play that. He, he doesn't uh, rise. Right. He, he looks like when they're running, it looks like, oh, he's about to get, like, trampled right now. And then he doesn't get nudged. And then he holds the ball and then he drags it. And then he, he has skill, you know? Yeah. Pardon? Got an extra gear. Yeah, yeah. Exa- exactly. And in you would never be, you would never be able to tell if you know he's, he's back, honestly yeah he really is and I, I i said i thought pep was going to steal him in the summer yeah and i mean fucking you know, I was the hoping... detriment of west ham I, I would have loved it to have happened you know yeah i think if pep ever felt he wasn't getting another year out of fernandinho he would have mm. done it i mean still was, he, I think... he's getting another year out of him and it's not such a it's bad time you know, that's so imminent. I think Mason Mount will sign him. And, Mason um, Mount will sign him? Yeah. Oh. They're like boyfriends, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Nothing wrong with that. No, I... Yeah, I could see him going to Chelsea, and I don't want that at all. And, I, but and we used to talk about that, and I said, I don't think we need him. I think it's. I think as long as Jorginho I, and Conte are there, I don't, I, I don't know. So I was... I actually thought about this last night. Um, and Mason Mount isn't starting, really, is he? It, was he even on the bench? I saw him in a, in a. He was yeah, behind the bench. Yeah, but he's been on and off since coming back from the Euros. So but this minded, so he wasn't needed. Yeah. So I was thinking about this last night, and I don't know if you actually said it. Sorry, what did you just say? I said he's attack minded, so he wasn't needed oh, against nice. it. Um, play with two strikers. Yeah, instead, of th- <laughs> instead of three, technically. Instead of three, we never play with three. It's like a five-two-three, isn't it? Well, you put James up there just because he does no, everything. No, no, no. It's like it's like Lukaku, uh, and then a, a player on the left, a player on the right. Havertz isn't. Yeah, he's attack minded. Oh, he's attack minded. Havertz he's, is way more. He's not a striker. He's way more attack minded than he plays up top. Who'd you play? Kovacic, Conte, Jorginho. Mm-hmm. Basically, three number eights. What are you talking about? Conte plays forward now. Kovacic, Kovacic has been the best attacking midfielder for the Dude, last. Two yeah, weeks. but not as attack minded as Havertz or Mount. Who are both no, number tens who, are, who are both somewhat out of form right now. Okay. I think Kovacic hey, been, is in form. Conte's the best two, midfielder in one. the world. And he's been playing a four two three one with Jorginho yeah. and Kovacic in as the two. Well, it's far it's, it's been far but then, too often. Hold on, hold but on. Then, how but is then how is Conte the best midfielder in the world if Jorginho won UEFA Player? So this of the is year. what I was thinking about last last night. Would would no. If Eng- if England won the Euros, would Reese James be getting the Ballon d'Or? No, <laughs> he didn't no, but, fucking play. But realistically, would Mason Probably Mount injured going no. up the stairs? What are you talking about? Your fucking favorite player <laughs> being the piece of shit wait, that wait, he wait, is wait, wait, wait. injured him. Wait, you have you actually have a valid point. Would Mason Mount have won the UEFA Player of the Year, or? Would have been UEFA. It would. It would have been UEFA, and I'm asking, would he be Ballon because d'Or Because he won contender? the league, and he won the. He won. Sorry, he, won, he didn't win the league. Obviously, we is. will win the league. He didn't win the. league. I would have laughed if Mason Mount won. If he wins any individual awards, I will shit myself live on on the podcast. Well, I would. This is what I was thinking because I I would argue that um, if England did win the Euros. I would argue that Mason Mount did more for Chelsea and England than Jorginho did for Chelsea and Italy. Yeah, I agree. And Jorginho has been the main topic. I mean, I'm strictly talking about Ballon d'Or here, and I think that it's definitely going to give it to Messi. But um, not that anyone should really care about that. But When does the Ballon d'Or come out? Uh, December, I'm pretty sure. Right, because it's it's who got it last year? Um, no one um, because of the thing, but it's supposed to be Lewandowski. But no one got it because, and yeah. there's like an uproar about it. I mean, it's it's a dumb award. It's not. There has to be that award. There has to be who was the best player. They're so fucking lazy. It's like who won two things and then that's it. I mean, they're not really. Yeah. They, they only did that with. They only pretty much did that with Modric. Well, he didn't this whole win. time it's been the last ten years. The last eleven years, sorry, it's been um, Ronaldo Modric won one year. Yeah. And no, I know he didn't win the he didn't win the World Cup or the. Um, well, he got to the final. Yeah. He won the Ballon d'Or though. No, I know. I'm, I yeah. know, but I'm saying he. Yeah. I understand. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just started giggling because I was like, I have really been defending Jorginho a little bit and Mount would deserve it more and there's no way. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll tell you right now, Jorginho is not a better player than Declan Rice. No. Not in a million years. But if but if Declan Rice's price tag is 80 million, which I'm guessing it would be, I don't think Chelsea are going to look at him and say, Buy I think they're saying 100 million. Saying what? I think they're saying 100 million for Declan Rice. I think it, yeah. I mean, if it's going to fluctuate, isn't it, depending on the yeah. market, but. And how English I don't. Th- I don't think he. I don't. I don't think he. Maybe a hundred million. Next big move. I I could see eighty. A hundred. No, the next big moves. Harry Kane in January. I actually. I'll actually tell you the next big move. Hard. So apparently the. Not on form it's not come. Apparently. Not on form. No. Apparently, city city's owners have said they're willing to buy Mbappe at any cost. They've just. They must have Harry Kane play then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it came out just after these last few Tottenham games. Yeah. I, I, I must admit, hey, before we go on to the Tottenham, let's talk Arsenal. <laughs> How long have we been saying about personality and, and emotion and showing that fire and, and your team reflecting on your manager's yeah. personality? And I seen a fellow I didn't recognise. Mikel Arteta. Uh, I, almost, I almost saw a hair out of place on his head. So happy to see it, mate. Honest to God. Yeah. And that first half from, you know, the, mainly the younger players. Yeah. Normally, it's and, God forbid I'll, I'll say it, but even Xhaka looked all right. You know, I know he got injured and went off, but... Even That's he, why he looked all right. <laughs> I saw um, a stat, like a Spurs or... Are... Last in what is it? Um, I can't remember exactly. Shots on target. Shot. They're, they're like twentieth in place in a lot. No, in in like a like I I know we we joke about you, Arsenal. You got Kane out of sorts. You got Son out of sorts. You got Mora out of sorts. I don't know Son you got, scored, but you got in Ray, Dembele. I, I, Kane thing has disrupted everything. I think so. Yeah. But I don't know. Looking. Can you imagine them disrupted. players? Can you imagine them players, Son? Mora is a big one if he's still about. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he's played. But yeah. them going... And Dembele. Oh, yeah. Harry's, Harry's leaving. I could be the main man here. Yeah. I could be me. I could take over that role and be the main man here. And then all of a sudden, he's not going. <laughs> and they're playing and looking like they all probably wanted him to go. Yeah, the lo- yeah they're looking like he's gone... Okay. They're looking like he's gone and had success at City already. Well, also, he thinks he's... And he's just missing. I mean, just the fact Probably that he took a longer place. holiday and stuff, I don't buy into, you know, he got lost in the Bahamas or whatever. The, that's not what he said, but apparently his brother's his manager and his brother's thicker than him, which is... Well, the, the worst thing about it all is trying to convince people that he's now chose to stay, which yeah. is body dead, which is bullshit, you know? Could you imagine how awkward it was when he walked in the... Have a choice. Yeah. Had no choice whatsoever. And you can see, by the way, his, his body language is. And, and for the first goal, he didn't make a challenge. He let Ben White just nod the ball down. Arsenal broke from it. Yeah. He's, wait, wait. You're talking you, about £50 million, pound, Ben White? I'm not, even having, I'm not even having the one he said it was a penalty. Because he's done his usual. Maybe there was contact with the outside of his left foot. Then he's done his usual, took his knees in and fall down to the floor. Mm. And I think referees are not buying that from him no more. Yeah. And even if it was contact, I still think it was outside the box anyway. But you have to. Is it a free kick? Hoiberg tried to do it for the for the first goal, the second goal, or was it the third goal? No, it was Obama Yang's goal. It was the third he's goal. Tried to, he's tried to nip yeah. in from the jacket, and then he's done the fall over. Yeah. yeah. Shamble. I'm, I'm so happy that the referees are not buying that no more. Well, look, I, I just, I just love that Arsenal have pulled Tottenham out of the big six, you know. Well, right, it's brilliant. Everything about it. I mean, look, he, replicating the the City game, you know, if we'd have lost them at six points behind, yeah, the big, small disaster. When winning that game and going level on points, it's not the worst thing in the world for Chelsea, but it's it's ominous mm-hmm. for everybody. They've right. gone and got level up there or a point behind Liverpool, whatever it is. 
And then you've got Arsenal jumping above Tottenham because of yeah. that one. Um, honestly, I, I've said it Wait, and well, I have criticised him. So happy to see him. Yeah. See him. You know what? He, he was, he, he was with, he was, it was like he was a supporter, you know? Yeah. It's something looking for, for, did you, yeah. you see Henri there? Yeah. I mean, I mean, look at, maybe that like, does something, you know? Yeah, yeah. but he, he wasn't, it <laughs> doesn't influence the players, does You don't he? think he goes into the dressing room? I'm just, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, but that's not going to make Arteta change, is it? No, he no, was interacting imagine... with the fans. You know, he was like, he, he, it's, he, he was more or less one of them. Yeah, exactly. And for me, the big difference is what I've always said: when the players are looking for inspiration, yeah, and they're looking over at him, and he's just standing there. If they'd have looked, and I mean, I, I am surprised that they didn't go and celebrate with him. Somebody didn't after the goal run to the halfway line and. And let him join in, but he joined in with his coaching staff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but well, look, I mean, that's that's the beginning for them. It's one game, you know. Like, but I mean, I mean, look, I said it about him. about Goodison and about Everton when they had that, I don't know, six or seven minute spell, and Goodison came alive. You know, mm. it was like there was an explosion, and and it made you realise how bad it was without the fans. But uh, Arsenal, even with the fans, has been been like a graveyard. Yeah, and it was just. <laughs> Booming out the telly, wasn't it? It yeah, was yeah. noise of it. I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's just funny. I mean, make one game. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, no. Make just one game. It's just, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I, I'm happy for, I'm happy for Arteta and like Arsenal really aren't a threat. So it's like, you know, whatever. But weren't, weren't they? <clears> they just, were. Uh, I, I, what, like four games ago, Tottenham was Wasn't were, Tottenham top of the league and Arsenal bottom? And now, yeah, Arsenal Tottenham have gone one three. Now they've lost three consecutive. Arsenal did the opposite. Yeah. I just love watching the uh, Arsenal fan TV videos of the fans, like, yeah. just talking to the camera. Because they've got their own, like, it's, it's like the underground channel of Arsenal, right? So, like, it's oh, just the funniest I thing. I a little bit for Nuno, for some reason. They he did? just seemed yeah. likeable, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then he's got, know, yeah. he's got players in there that not playing for the shit anymore. He's like a... He's like a sub- Deli, Deli Alley's a waste of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said it years and years ago. In fact, when you look back, I can say, yeah, I was saying it when everyone was bullying him. Yeah, up. yeah. I was saying it then. I was being sort of proved wrong because he was getting goals and getting assists. And he was in a, a fairly exciting Tottenham team. Yeah. But the players overall and their attitude, you know, because he was falling down even then. I mean, he's, you know, he's a bag of shit. And his haircut is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't. Quip about anybody's hair. Who's kind of that should be your punishment. You should get Deli Ali's haircut. Oh my! It looks God, like yeah. he's got pieces of spaghetti just like flying. Better hair than his attitude. <laughs> yeah. No, he's yeah. I like I liked in the documentary on uh, Amazon about Tottenham. Uh, what's it called? The All or Nothing. All or Nothing. Jose Mourinho like basically just tells him he doesn't like he's he's out. Now then. What? That's something making another one now, and it'll it'll be even better. Yeah. Where do you where do you hide there? Yeah. Jamie Carragher just came out and said, "I mean, not that he's like the forefront of thinking here, but he said Arsenal and Spurs have lost big st- big six status." Yeah, but that was years ago. Yeah. Ages ago. Hot take. That's nothing new, is it? No. Nah. I mean, it, it, but they still haven't though, have they? Really. Well, well, yeah, that's when, when he was talking about the, the breakaway. Yeah, Europe. they weren't included. Yeah. Yeah, well, who invited them, you know? Yeah. He talked about it then and, and even way before that. Yeah. Way before that. I, I said a year and a half ago, the big six is, is gone forever. Yeah. It, you, you've got to, you, back then, you had to add Leicester. Well, you couldn't, wasn't even sure about Man United. Well, the thing is, the big six is it's more of the big six with money, isn't it? It's more like it doesn't matter. It's not the top six; it's the big six. Well, you know, yeah, in, in a club sense, yeah. I, I think it's. I mean, it yeah. should. I, I think it's who's in the Champions League the most. But it's not because you know? I don't think it's ever going to change from the six that it is. I mean, well, it, it, it will. It will to people now. Then City, no, no. Chelsea, Liverpool, United, Arsenal, Tottenham. It'll, no, they, they don't but get. You can't, neither I, of them get ahead of Leicester. I don't. I think if none Leicester's of Leicester's ahead it, of both of them. But it's it's like a weird. I think it's a weird uh, money economical thing. I don't think it's 
it, it, they could lose for, like Tottenham, Tottenham and Arsenal could miss out on the top six for the next ten years, and I still don't think the big six will be changed. It Why? might just not be spoken about anymore. I don't think they're ever gonna say the big six is now. I don't think it's a fluid thing. I think it's it, it's more of like a it's just a, like a club wealth thing, isn't it? It's like but look with, with them with them with them teams anyway. If you if you you now look at City, Liverpool. Man U, Chelsea—they're all—they're all much of a muchness. The next, the next eight teams are much of a muchness now. Right. So, fell into your Leicester, Everton, West Ham. Yeah. Mm. You know, they're all much of a muchness. Them, them lot of teams now. You know, look at Brighton now sitting sixth. And yeah, look, without any superstars, they're playing as as good a football as as most. Yeah. You know. So uh, it's. It's you're, a, called, you're never going to find a big six again. No, so it's a it's a big four then, isn't it? But I just think it was a big six to do. Uh, I I don't know. I I think well, I'd, finances and the size of the club itself, obviously. Yeah, that doesn't guarantee you a, a team out on the field. No, but I think it's always a conversation because people say, "Oh, they're not the top six, but it's not the top; it's the big." It, it's just yeah, like they're the draw. Yeah, I mean, I just you know, I mean, I think look now, mate. You were talking about Leicester, Tottenham, and Arsenal sitting above them. And yeah. we're talking about how bad they are, or where, or have been. Yeah, we're... we're, we're They're not bad Leicester's been. Yeah, exactly. Leicester's... You Leicester can't be a big six if nobody worries about you falling away. Right. You know what I mean? You, you, they should have had that big six status, because they've been up there for the last... While the topics come out. I, I don't know. I also I also don't think the six, first, like, six games... Six, seven games of the no, season. No, it's not just results, mate. It's it's seeing the performances and how they played. You know, Le- yeah, but I Leicester, mean, Leicester is someone they lost four games this season. That's more than anybody, right? Yeah, four out of six, and they go to Leicester and should really take the game. You know, nobody's going to fear Leicester no more. What? On performances. I, I mean, yeah, but they, I mean, like, I'm, I've, we've had this conversation before. I know because I've said this. Leicester can go on a six-game winning streak against anyone in the Premier League, no matter who it is. Any other big club, I think they're capable of beating them, right? Yeah, I mean, everyone, everyone should fear Leicester a little bit. Any team, uh, Man, Man yeah. City, Chelsea. I mean, there's everyone. Been, everyone yeah, needs but, to fear Vardy, and well, and and the ten players behind Vardy are a pretty quality side. You know, they're definitely, yeah. they're definitely. But it goes to say something when they win the league and then they sell, you know, a Conte and, I mean, I don't want to say Mahrez. Maguire's name, Mahrez. Um, you know, I mean, they and they sell. And then they, the and then they, they yeah, almost, almost got a good manager. I like, I like him and his yeah. philosophy, and he he finds players yeah. to fit his philosophy and his system. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the manager. They got, also, they got if you don't quality, have quality all players. All the resources and the funds available. Yeah, you've got. What you think is going to work well for you, mm-hmm. at whatever cost, even if it means a youngster. You know, he brought a young left back. I know he's been sort of replaced the last couple of games, but yeah, he, he got him available. He's I brought mean, it Har- in. Harvey Barnes has come through. Well they have a there. they have a side everyone should fear. I mean, not yeah. everyone. Everyone in the Premier League, they can be. A, a, using that word there. fear, though, it's like as in the sense of like. One of- Everyone's gonna change their game to play Leicester. Maybe. You know? Maybe. Alright, moving on. I think, uh, I've got a good piece of news here as long as it comes to fruition. Um, and it kind of rides the back of things we've been talking about over the past Messy 64, no, 64 episodes, although that's probably our most talked about topic. But I read today. No, it's not. It's fucking Jack Grealish, dude. <laughs> good or bad. I read today, um, Former players are being recruited to train as refer- referees with a plan to fast-track the best candidates to become elite match officials. Uh, apparently, only one former professional has gone on to referee at the EFL level in the past 30 years, which is ex-Huddersfield town defender Steve Baines, who I don't recognize. But I think that's... I mean, we've been saying... I, you've been saying for the yeah, longest someone's... time, even predating the podcast, yeah. Why don't you get players in as referees because they know the game? Well, you know what? Not at my knees are fucked. I've missed it, haven't I? Uh, yeah. What? They I'm don't not... look good in shorts anymore? 
sit in the VAR room. Yeah, you could. With a couple of pints. Yeah. In me, in me scoot, on my scooter. No, you'll be trying to fucking tell them it's offside and your Honestly, mic won't you be could, on. you could bring us. We could do the podcast from the VAR yeah. shed. <laughs> No, it's, yeah, it's exactly what happened. It's amazing, isn't it? You thing. get ignored all this fucking time. Hey, I think that happens a lot, though. I'm not saying we're at the forefront of breaking news, but... <laughs> it's get <getting> weird. <laughs> I don't know. If they're listening to that, then they're obviously hearing the death threats as well. I honestly <laughs> thought so... Arteta listened to the podcast. Yeah. And more was last back season. In. Yeah. Or the season before it was. Who was that? Moyes. Moyes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because things seem to be happening and hey, changing. And, and Chelsea. E- either that or we're and just... about <laughs> Lampard and... Or we, or we think we're on the cutting edge and we're just saying the most obvious shit ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but it's funny because I, I, I catch some clips on, on you know from Sky or whatever or from the radio and then they're saying things that, that we've said weeks earlier. And I'm like... <laughs> Well, th- okay. this is why... For listening to us. This yeah. is why we we originally started this because... That would that would happen too many times where it's like we would go somewhere talk uh, about football well, and then they would they would hear it like I mean sometimes my my friends ask if we're like psychic or uh, I feel like we predict we predicted so much on this show a lot bad yeah I mean I, <laughs> but yeah. I mean the results yeah <laughs> yeah that's the one we sacrifice our results to mm. to influence the game in a bigger way. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously... Maybe we've got to stop posting them. Obviously, <laughs> people will start listening to Yeah, them. if we just talk about them on here, we could... Yeah. That's... Look, mate, as, you know, the way the refs have gone back on that, it's sort of the handball rules changed a little bit. Yeah. They're still, still not putting the flag up when they should, yeah, when it's yeah. a blatant offside. There's that. still some fucking nuggets out there, isn't there? But, yeah. But the game's got back a little bit to oh. what we know. There was a couple of tackles flew in in, oh, the, in a yeah. Brighton game today that I thought, you know, fucking brilliant. Yeah. You know, it's it's getting back there. Which is and crazy. I, tell me, it's I just thought that the players that go and do it aren't fucking nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah, God, right. been wrong, you know. Who? Just get the right... All right, here's a good question. No. Who? I'm not... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Who out of your friends no. slash ex-teammates would have been the best and the worst referee? None. None of them. Come had, on. Um, no, they they hated referees. It's not offensive though. Who was the most organized? Who would have been able to keep it together? I think I think someone For like Ian Dowie would game. have been a good referee Ian because Dowie. he's big enough to handle himself if anyone has a go. Yeah, he's well spoken. He's an intelligent man, and and you know he knew football as well. He knows football. You know he's still out there doing some commentating. He's been a manager. Um, he probably won't thank me for it. I don't think he looked that great in the ref's kit, uh, you know. <laughs> but and then everybody else wouldn't have. All right, but who would have been the worst if if tomorrow they said, "Hey, I think this Dickie, person- Dickie would have made a bad ref because he wouldn't know where he was on the pitch." <laughs> you know, just see the grass moving. <laughs> but uh, and, and Julian, ah, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, you can't have a referee fucking punching play. <laughs> You definitely can. Maybe that's yeah. what the game needs. Oh, you I mean, have you not? Did you not see? Uh, there was a ref. I, I don't want to do. It may be India. I don't know if it was India or not. But um, he pulled a gun. Yeah, the I ref. Think it was Greece, wasn't it? Was it? It was Greece. It was. Yeah. Um, the ref had a gun on him. <laughs> but that's because the. I carry a gun on. That's because the season before, an owner came down with a gun. Yeah. I mean, you remember uh, when we used to go play down in Miami? I was talking about this today. The parents used to be... Some parents were, like, banned for life for jumping the refs and, like, breaking their arms and that, like, yeah. after games. And it was, like, the norm down there. I mean, <laughs> doesn't beat doesn't be Sunday League in Liverpool back in the day, mate. <laughs> when I see someone drive his car on a pitch to try and run the referee over. <laughs> oh. Did you get caught? Cool. Quality. Oh, I miss those He's days. Sent off. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a yellow light. Someone, someone today doing a bit on a golf cart. Red would have been red. <laughs> she got a red light. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fucking citation. <laughs> I was this close to a good joke. <laughs> Unlucky, mate. It's okay. We've been waiting a while. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there one day. 
Um, no Messi for PSG, right? No, he'd be, he's fit. Is he? Yeah. Oh, what, what if he just wants to walk off in the middle of the game, though? They've said he's in the squad, and they might, they might leave him out. And yeah, po- and Pochettino say, said, just Pochettino say that he's said in today the squad. Messi and Verratti are, are, well, fit to start. Yeah, I mean, but, I, I, I would say that Messi's playing as well, just to scare them. You know? I would hey, mate, what I've seen today, this is, this is the difference. This is maybe what a win at Chelsea gets you. Because... For the game tomorrow, City are favourites. Really? It's, it's the American bookies, though. So well, none of the same all over the place. You can get 2-1 to one for PSG. Not that I'm going in. Yeah. But City just bigger than even money. It'll be oh, fairly... PSG. And they're the same at Anfield. Liverpool are just shy of 2-1. to one. And and City are just yeah. a little bit of even money. I'm sure... I don't know about the Liverpool result, but I'm sure the PSG result will be a, also what happened in the knockout stages last season. I'm sure that has some... That's his sense, mate. Yeah. But don't, I... don't get me wrong, the boogies factor everything in. So. But is that... You can't, okay, do you they can't know... factor for what... Do they know he's not playing? Do they not even know he's not playing? Yeah. It's... Also, it's, it's City, I mean... You can't... You can't account for Messi. No, yeah, but they... Yeah. Remember... I remember Joe Art said something when they were... He had that amazing game against them. But before that game, I remember him saying something like, Someone asked if they're like scared or something like that, and he's like, "I mean, look at their front three. It's um, Messi, Neymar, and was that Sw- that and was 2016? It was a while. I think ago. I think we knocked didn't we knock him out or or was it the group stage in 2016? I, I, I don't know. Joe Hart had the one of the best games you'll ever see a keeper have, and um, he's that, like yeah. Suarez, Neymar, and Messi, and only one of them has to be in form, and the others. And Messi's, I don't know, he said something like, Messi's still just going to be Messi. Only Neymar... Well, Messi wasn't there. What? At PSG? No, I'm talking about Barca. You just said PSG. Did I? I mean, as Neymar and Messi. That's true. Well, that makes sense. I, I said PSG? I think... Oh, All right. I'm no, the only one... No, that, I didn't. No, I, I talking didn't. about it. Yeah, but no, either way... Said it. No, either way, it's... Well, it's a good job of recording. <laughs> yeah. Either way, it's the same exact... Okay. It's the same exact situation that you have to face again. Except now it's... Uh, Mbappe, I don't Messi, I don't Neymar. Think so. What? Little rumours that Neymar and Mbappe are unhappy with each other. Yeah, they came out... You know, Mbappe's not, just not happy. Because, he, you know, the talk of him going away, his contract's coming to an end and all this. Yeah. And a lot of times they do it to give him a massive new contract. So is he wanting a bigger contract than Neymar now? Because I would imagine is is bigger than Messi's right now, isn't it? Uh, no. No? Why what Messi signed? You know, Messi went for free, didn't he? So they had more cash to... to well, yeah, no, him. Messi still has, like, but the second... Massive, but I'm, I'm just imagining there will be Did that... He? There will be that... that Jealousy. But it's and just, it's just, but it, the thing is with, the, with this shit, it's the agents that stir it, isn't it? It's not necessarily, I, I feel bad for the players most of the time because I feel like. No, <laughs> mate. No, you should be in control of your agent. Yeah, but I don't think it works like that anymore. Well, it isn't because, because the player actually wants it. So you can't, you can't not fault the player. The player wants it, but doesn't want it to come from his mouth. Well, maybe, it's yeah. Like again, the same thing. Okay, you know? well, yeah. I think, I mean. No. They, they, they want it. And, and look, what's the worst that can happen? You give me a new, bigger contract at the club I'm already at and I don't have to move. But Mbappe That's already, that- he already rejected that. I think he's going. I, there needs to be more people like. But it's done, mate, because they come back with a, a record in contract and he's going to sign it. Mbappe? Yeah. That's what that we. They come back with a world record. Paycheck a week, whatever it is, a million pound a week, whatever. You're saying they have or they will? No, oh, if they do, while oh, he's yeah. still there, there's still time. Yeah, I'm saying they, they will. They will leave it till the last minute, and so will he. Oh yeah. And do you who, think who puts first? But do you think okay? If you're if you're a, if you're a Bappe and your dream, like everybody knows his dreams to play for Real Madrid, he had Ronaldo posters mm-hmm. on his wall, even though Real Madrid's depleted right now. It's just kids there basically can I answer you before you ask it yeah what if Real Madrid offer you 400 grand a week and PSA offer you 800 grand a week well it's not going to be that big what if it's 
What if it's 400 and 600? A, a week. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I know it's a lot. Right. <laughs> How much? That's 800 grand a month. <laughs> right? How much a year? Figure what? it out. How it's much? A big difference. As a, a two two hundred grand difference times four. Oh, oh. How much of a difference to a twenty two year old Mbappe is? Yeah, it'll be his agent. It'll be his agent like, who makes that decision. The fact that he's only twenty two. It'll be his agent that makes that. He, I, I just don't know. I I mean, may I tell you what it is? The agent, the agent will. It's not like back in the day, ten percent, twenty percent, or whatever it whatever it was. The agent doesn't get part of it. The agent negotiates his own fee off the club as well, right? So, yeah. so the agent's fee is nothing to do with the the player's fee now, or the transfer fee. Mm. That's all negotiated separately. If I can get you him for this much, which will be free, won't it? Mm -hmm. What he's trying to say is make his Next wages summer. bigger, make my fee bigger. Yeah, because you're paying nothing. Jesus, the agents make so much money for doing jack shit. Gone through the roof. Yeah. Again, but it goes in cycles, you know. And 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 like I said earlier, the player wants it. The player lets the agent do it. Yeah. Unless they're the bigger man and the stronger personality. That's what I was about to say. Don't make me look a fool to these fans that I adore. The, the don't new... adore them anymore. The they don't to... adore the fans anymore. The loyalty is gone. But they'll have a PR guy. There'll be another mm. guy, a PR guy that is in the middle of all this that. Will say that number will cause this. This number will cause that. I, I just don't think the players have that. Have like everybody creates this big personality around the players now. I and I think it's fabricated. I think it's. I think the agents say one thing, the PR guy says another thing, and the players just kind of maybe. Oh, it's, 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 like, it's like they're in. It's like they're in court, and the lawyers are yeah. telling them like, "Don't say a word." Yeah, you know, and. And that's why, like, the whole Harry Kane thing is the most the pathetic thing. What, like, and I said this about Haaland. I said this but a couple I, of I really days don't ago. Think, I don't Grand. think Mbappe understands the difference between 400 and 600,000 pounds a week. But when it comes down to the percentage of the agent and the PR person and the manager and whoever else is involved, that's where it makes the difference. But that's not to do with the player. The agent's fee now has nothing to do with the player. The player used to pay the agent. No, I know. I of his fee. I know what you're saying. I get what you're saying, but I'm just saying. So the agent is going to negotiate a bigger wage because it they can negotiate a bigger cut. Uh, look, he, even saying he's not going to know anything about it, he's not going. Look, he's not going to have studied it all. He's not going to be a financial wizard, but he's going to know the difference between two hundred grand a week, how much that gives you over a year. Yeah. If it's, look at his smartphone. And put the calculator. No, yeah, but I'm, then, not then, it. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying Also, I'm not saying that down, another, down to like that terms, but like, I, don't I mean, know. there's a, another. That's tunnel. my dream. What they want. Let, I'll tell you what. What will happen? I'll tell you what he'll want. He's saying, let's say Real Madrid offer him four. Let's hypothetically four hundred grand a week. PSG say if you stay, we'll give you eight hundred grand a week. He's gonna go. Yeah, I really want to be at Real Madrid, but what I want is the eight hundred grand a week, but at Real Madrid. Like the American women's national team, the most hated fucking people in the world. You know? They wanted the best of both sides. They wanted the, the men's contract, what benefited them, but they wanted their salary paid, like, uh, yearly. You know? They wanted to be paid weekly, monthly, whatever. I and thought, when they realized it, I thought you're not supposed to get paid for international duty. Yes, you are. Really? You are, and you do. Well, well look, you play, in, you play in cup competitions like the Euros, the World Cup. There's there's a prize structure that yeah. gets shit players. Yeah, right. But if friendly as you weekly? wouldn't con. Yeah. But women do because that's their sort of league. They play more international games than anybody else. Yeah. Because because they don't get paid decent money from clubs because the women's league is ridiculous right now and never really survives. You know? Mm. So so they've struck the deal that they kept paid salaries. From the national, from the federation, so they get health insurance and and all the other benefits they get. I don't know exactly what it is, maternity leave and and all this, but they wanted that. And and the men's contract was, you get paid if you win, you get paid the fear that you go on a tournament. Now because they win and the men don't, what yeah. they wanted was 
the men's bonus system and their salary structure. Right. So on equal pay, they wanted the best of everything, right? Yeah. I mean, I'll go back to what the player's going to want. He's going to want the best of everything. Yeah. He's going to want the big money. Well, how come they've offered me this? Why can't you match it? And I'll come because you're not paying a transfer fee. So we'll want that big salary at the club he wants to be at. Yeah, well, I, I'm just, I mean, that, that's, that's, I'm just that's probably, as as I'm anything. just probably being naive then, but I, for some reason, just think, I mean, the difference between 400 and 800 is a lot. It's, it, but I don't, I don't I think, think four, six. from eight. Yeah, I think I just four, think four six, six, he still goes for four. Yeah, to Real Madrid, a club that he's openly stated that he wants to play for. No, guarantee you. 100%. They wouldn't do that. You think so? I guarantee you part of the problem now is Neymar's earning more than he is. And he wants to earn more than Neymar, which of course is in imagine, Neymar camp. And now PSC will have to pay Neymar even more. Imagine. I'm just going to start watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians instead. Yeah, some reality. It's less drama. Really. That's <laughs> all imagine, true. Yeah, but imagine having 400 grand in Real Madrid. You think you could turn it, that down? I'm, look, I, I'm a humble person. I actually came to Miami Fusion for a 50% pay cut on the promise that they would match my wages for two more years, and they stiffed me for almost a million dollars. Yeah, welcome to America. No, it's it's everywhere. It's not just America, mate. It's everywhere. I'm telling you, I was that person that did that. I trusted yeah. people. And it doesn't work like that. The, the real world doesn't like that. Yeah. Not like that. And, I, and, and I'm telling you, he's going to hide behind his agent and he's not going to speak up when his agent does this or does that. And he's going to, when it doesn't happen, he comes back and he's back at the club like Harry Kane. He's going to go, I didn't really want to go. I love these fans. Yeah, but the problem with Harry Kane is, is his brother is his manager. and but that's Because anyone can be your agent now. Yeah. And, and he's making his family rich because there's that much money in the game. Aren't you an agent now? Sorry? Aren't you an agent now? Well, if, if your media career takes off, both of you, sure. I'll earn a fortune. Well, and that's a good segue into subscribe to the Patreon at patreon.com slash five pints in. Ian gets a third of the cut after the uh, equipment's paid back. I'm going to negotiate my own. Don't, <laughs> don't be negotiating for me. I'm getting my All own. All right, so if me. you join the Patreon now, 100% goes to me and Connor before he <laughs> negotiates his own. And yeah. yes, we are asking for £800,000 a week. No, you're just going to go to the show that you like. It's going to pay you less. Yeah. <laughs> we'll transfer a podcast for for <laughs> less money. Um, Yeah, but... One, well, one, one. Last, it's only going to be five minutes. What's that? It's only going to be five minutes more. Yeah. One, <clears> uh, <throat> one last thing I did want to get to is just another comment from. Uh, we had a few comments actually this week. Um, a subscriber, Paul N, said, um, "Is again." Uh, com- sorry, I just read that Tim Sherwood thing. Okay. Well, we'll get to that. Yeah. As well. Sorry. Connor's reading my notes before I get to them. It's um, like the first time I've been able to make the noises. He's, he's, he's <laughs> he made the what? he's made the writing like the size that you have on your phone, so I'm actually being able to see it from this distance. <laughs> this is the size it's always been. Um, Vie- it? yeah. So the comment from Paul N says, um, "Vieira is just cutting his teeth at Palace with one eye on the Arsenal manager job." It just ties into our Vieira Arteta, who goes first, kind of, kind of deal. If Vieira doesn't go first, he'll get the Arsenal job and then... First, he goes uh, straight after. What's that? <coughs> if Arteta goes first, Vieira goes straight after. That was like one of those weird voiceovers from those old uh, karate movies. You yeah. said something and your voice was moving and he said it over the top and it didn't line up. Yeah, and the voice <laughs> never matches. The... <laughs> <laughs> my voice was moving. <laughs> my, my lips were moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, if you're going to do it, do it right. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, that's like saying, uh, now we I have the footsteps in the snow. <laughs> or, or like what you said, what he said earlier about you. I could see your, what did he say? Um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Something about seeing you, uh, listen to something. Yeah, I can see you listening. Well, that <laughs> make kind of make sense. No, it was, it, it was, it was <laughs> that's good. <cool. laughs> yeah. He's got headphones on. 
<laughs> so he's wearing black gloves. <laughs> well, I never passed him. <laughs> he might have just been out and murdered someone. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, obviously, I, I do think Vieira probably has one eye on the Arsenal job, but he needs to have the other eye on his own job, I think, you know? He needs to have both eyes on his own job. <laughs> he's, he's, he, he, he could be gone this season. Very much so. I know that's what you, we've all been saying, but like. Yeah. Well, well to be honest with you, they're, they're actually looking better. They're, they're yeah. Showing, them, know, showing yeah. some energy. And I mean, that was the big thing about Arsenal, the energy that they showed. Yeah. You know? Closing down and it, it's it's been seriously lacking. It was like that with Palace the first three games and and they seem to have both booked up and you know nobody's wanting anyone fired. No, it's just what it looked like. Oh yeah. You know? yeah but for me, the connections with both managers, you know, through the teams that we yeah. follow or, I mean, or have been with, both or City connections, like yeah, of course, yeah. I don't want it to happen. That's why you want, I... want younger managers coming in and yeah, and yeah. want the next manager to join. Klopp and Pep and and Tuchel. You want the next managers to to come in and be competing. Yeah, and to, create another top six. Yeah, you do. Of course, we do. We want. We don't want teams running away with the Premier League. Mm. We want just like Leicester did. You know. Yeah. Cool. yeah. New contenders like Man United. <laughs> Who? The up and coming Man United. Oh. Too bad they lost Sevilla, but you know. Um, speaking of United, what Connor was laughing at before in the notes, Tim Sherwood has said he thinks Ronaldo's tip to become the United manager in the next manager in the next eighteen months. I've seen something about that that he said he'd like to coach. You know, it, he'd play another year and then he'd like to coach there. Why not? You know, why mm. wouldn't Vieira want to be at Arsenal? I mean, do you why? see uh, Ronaldo at the Euros at the the last Euros. It was talk, wasn't it, when he got taken off? We did it at the in the final. He was coaching from the side, and then there was something they were speaking about when he came off in in Europe that he was standing up, screaming orders at people. Yeah. And so they took a grip of him and said, "You're not a manager yet. Sit down." And he should. He should know his place right now. He's a he's a player. Yeah. Sit down and let the coach do the coaching. I mean, but so, you, you saw what happened, though. He was he was the life of Portugal that game. Uh, the little life that they had, he he was. I just remember him crying and going off, mate. You don't, you don't, you don't. He literally must have beat up the Portuguese manager. He's he's Every, grabbing him and picking him up and shaking him all I over the place. I crying because I got kicked. Yeah, yeah, that That's, happened. That did happen. That did happen. But he also went into the physio, got wrapped up, and then for. I think Edda scored in like the 117th minute. It went right before the penalties. The second Ronaldo came back to the touchline, he was jumping up and down on that injury that he had. And he's he's managing the whole entire team. And the Portuguese manager was just standing there like with his arms and his with his hands in his pocket. That's and I'm best. not saying that's like he's this brilliant <laughs> manager, but he can't be that badly hurt then, can he? If he's jumping no, up. No, I mean, I mean, what do you mean? What do you mean he can't be that badly hurt? It's Ronaldo. He just cried. He's it's the Euros. He's not gonna leave. He's not gonna come off the pitch, is he? Unless wow. he absolutely, absolutely, absolutely has to, and he did. Wow. And I used to always say like, you can tell with people that are gonna be managers and that like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would have never said in fifty years he was ever gonna be able to be a manager, never mind in the Premier League. And I would have said something similar about Ronaldo until then. And then I saw a whole new side of him and. I think ever since, honestly, somewhere around that time, I've been gradually respecting him more and more. You know what, my, my... Well, he, he, he must have broke something because I'm not coming off in that final. I wouldn't have come off the way Mo Salah did in the Champions League final. I've, I'm I not said off. That. You're dragging me off. I don't care what it is. No, I mean, we're not, I mean, I, I actually watched that. Well, I mean, well, I don't mean to call you. I don't mean to call you out or anything, but I remember the Euro final. Perfectly. We watched it in Virginia together, and you were on your yeah. phone the whole time. Yeah, tweeting about it. I know. Yeah, hammered. not looking at the game and tweeting That's about how how much of a a baby Ronaldo is, and not watching the actual game. And I had no interest in the game, mate. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It was it was crazy to see, and it it it, cha it changed my my like viewpoint 
or it helped change my viewpoint on Ronaldo. So, so in short, who cares? <laughs> All right, well, if Ronaldo's going to be a manager, I'm, fi- I'm fine with you liking Ronaldo, mate. It's just it's not going to change my opinion or my mind. He's he's going to be. If I he, mean, yeah. If, if he, he if does he, if he does become a manager, there's no saying that his skills on the pitch are going to transcend into his no, management. But, uh, of course not. But like like you're saying about what, Vieira, what, what love if football you, go, are you going to be looking for? You can watch like a two minute. Uh, go and watch a two minute clip of him on the sidelines. I'm not uh, disagreeing with you. Is I'm just saying. To- you, you're talking about players. emotion. If you no. if you go and watch Ronaldo, he he, he loves the game more than anyone else know, on this but planet. I'm just saying, who cares? You know? He's gonna be the Man United manager. Who? who I th- I no, I, I'm not saying Man United manager, but I'm saying I think if he were to manage, which I don't think, I don't think he could do because obviously who he no. is, he has to be the no. goal scorer. But if he could manage, I think he would do it very, very, very well because he is, he is. Not super intelligent, but he knows how to. It doesn't matter. He knows how to handle now, the body. If you watch him now, if you watch him now after the defeat at Villa, if you watch him after the no, game, I, yeah, I know. Guys, as if everybody's let me down. I know. He left Juventus because everybody let him down. He is too self-centered to be a manager. Yeah. He's going to compare players to what he was, and they'll never be. Mm-hmm. He won't uh, yeah. have that dressing room. I don't believe. People will will look to him and and take his word for everything. It's 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 a broken dressing room anyway. How long is it going to be before he takes over? Is it going to be his first job? I very much doubt it. United aren't going to put that'd him be, in charge. That'd be insane if they give him. But his job. first job. No, if he's on the coaching staff for three or four years and steps in, that's fine. That, that's but also, fine, but three three guidance. or four years though. As long as he's been under the guidance of mm. somebody yeah. of uh, Tuchel. Clock, yeah, yeah, something like that, which they don't have. Yeah. Now, don't forget, they'll have to get rid of Solskjaer and bring that caliber in. Yeah, yeah. For him to, under the guidance, and of then that. for him to fail as well. And is he going to listen to anybody? I don't think so. Also, this is Tim Sherwood saying it. So yeah, it's exactly. Not like yeah, it's that, that, was, that was going to be my. No, I, I hear he that he has aspirations funny. to be manager, and, and yeah. if you think about it, why wouldn't he want to manage Man United? That's that's. Probably true. Yeah. But but would he make look, we can't even put him down and say he won't be a good manager. We can only say what we feel yeah. or what we think. He, he, if he goes and proves you wrong, he holds your hand up. Yeah. You know, but right now, his his personality and what he's achieved, it's gonna be difficult for him to accept average players. Yeah. And he's not gonna get oh, here's another hundred million if you want to change it. Look at all the United team. I think yeah. I think if he which he's gonna be he's, managing Fred Flintstone. I think which he's done his whole entire not his whole entire life, sorry. The way that shit falls for him, but he capitalizes on those like opportunities. I think if he gets like let's say this does happen, within the next three, four years he becomes the United manager. If he has three or four superstars on his team, he could go and do what he normally does. And look like he's amazing when, in reality, he's he's not. He's he's genuinely. I hate to say it, but he's like pretty much getting lucky. You know, like it's shit's just falling for him, like it does. And I I hate to say it because, like, I hate to take away from him, but he's someone that can capitalize on the situation, but also is the luckiest. All there right, is well, in the all game. I'm saying is, if it's within the next three or four years, some of the players are still on the contract. He's going to have to have a fucking mass clear out. If if he's having uh, the yeah, players yeah, that, yeah. but he looked after the game after the defeat. I mean, but he looked and thought about his teammates. Have you seen? Then when he does become manager, have you seen? Gone. Luke, have you seen Lukaku every time he doesn't get the ball in the yeah. box? It's the most. He if, if he doesn't cut that shit out of his, uh, out right now, he's. Yeah, it's gonna hit Chelsea. Yeah, it's yeah, it's gonna be our biggest downfall. Yeah, because who do we have to back up when Lukaku does, shrugs his shoulders and doesn't want to play? We have an out of form Timo. <laughs> so it's that be the same. <laughs> that's the thing. He's yelling at Timo Werner, and it's like he's so delicate right now. You can't be yelling at him. He needs. Oh, he's delicate. Of course, he is. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're oh, so don't, mean. Don't, don't be talking. St- the only reason Stones had played any minutes the last fucking right, seven years right, 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 is right. because 
All right, Hello. guys. Let's wind it down. Let's wind it down. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. I I started talking bad about City, and I know that's not. I know that's you not allowed. Not talking bad about Lukaku. It's fine. No. Exactly. I'm just saying we're going on uh over an hour and a half. So I was gonna save that was. Tim Sherwood Ronaldo thing for next episode, but Connor was giggling, so and he saw in my notes, so I had to. Uh, like yeah, I said, Tim, mate, I can see it happening. Tim Sherwood said some outlandish shit. Before. Yeah, but he's heard it somewhere. It's not Tim Sherwood just making it up. Somebody's he, he works in the media, so so he's heard the thing floating around. Where do you think they get the stories from? Yeah, everybody? but yeah. that that's like saying every. <laughs> that's like saying I'm, everything Paul Merson says is credible. Well, <laughs> it's like it they definitely have to study, isn't, you know. They have to study. They have to read up. No, no, when it's personal opinion, it's different. But when it's something that's floating around, people want to look. The, the problem about media today is they want to piggyback on a on a popular subject. Exactly. They don't, yeah. they don't want to give their own opinion or, or what they really think. They just want to piggyback. They want to they want to be relevant and say something, mm -hmm. and they just piggyback onto a subject that people are already talking about. So, yeah, exactly. so in the background of the media, they're already talking about Ronaldo, you know, when he finished. Because how long can he go on for? How long will he... Do you think after Man United he's going to want another club? Because if he was disappointed in Juventus, how disappointed is he going to be in this lot yeah. at the end of this season? Where's he going to go from there? So he might no, have been offered something. No bigger club's going to take yeah. him. So, so management is probably the only option. And, and it's normal for, the, for anyone to say it, even if they hadn't heard it. That's a 37... That looks where you're, you're on your way to. Does he want to stay in the game? If he does, then management's the only option. Coaching yeah. and management is the only option. Or be the fucking richest agent, but he doesn't need money. You know? What players <laughs> wouldn't sign for him as an agent? If he if he gets 15 goals this Premier League season, he could he could move wherever he wants. But then we've got... Oh, yeah. no... Didn't he get tw 29 last, last season for Juve? Yeah, and I'm talking about in the Premier League. I'm talking about in the Premier League, though. For him. But he's going to be a year older. He's yeah. going to be a year older, and he's coming from a mediocre team. You don't step up. the the way I The way I'm looking at Ronaldo right now is somewhat similar to how Van Persie was when he was coming to United. You thought you thought he was too old. You thought it was just just wasn't. It, it was no. too. It was too late of a move, and it and he just only thirty, wasn't he? Twenty nine, thirty. Well, but that's what I'm saying. I think he was 32, but I, but it was he was like he was like the, he was like the first of like of people where you're like, oh, he's too old to play, and then he comes out and like has no. two great seasons. All right, I'm gonna cut you guys off. Fuck Ronaldo. Don't give a shit about him. Okay. He he can manage whoever he wants. What I'm saying, just before you go, you United wasn't a step up from Juventus. Was yeah, it? it was. Uh, what have Juventus done in the last? Oh, they won the they won the last ten leagues, haven't they? Yeah, in into... Syria, and yeah, they got to the Champions League final. <laughs> but oh, yeah, yeah, in Syria, like it wasn't a step up. It's definitely not a step down. It is with how United are right now, but it's I mean, and then you can United, the United will go and trounce uh, Juventus if he, if he gets fifteen goals, which still isn't a. Shed load in the in the Premier League, is it? You think you think Juventus going to be United right now? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's ridiculous. United or Europa League side? Well, did, if you West put Ham Ronaldo did. on both sides, Juventus still wouldn't be. My uh, Aston Villa just beat them. Okay, and, and, young, and Chelsea. Young them boys, on... <laughs> young boys beat them. Okay, and Chelsea play them on Wednesday, so I I wouldn't be talking all that big talk if. In case Juventus beat Chelsea, and then, and then you've got yourself into a real scramble. I mean, Man United could very well beat Chelsea this season. No, I mean, yeah, they can. Chelsea should beat Man United. They should. They Man should. United are bad. They'll be the favorites. Yeah, Man United are bad. I, I mean, from the the games that have just been shown, any team can beat anyone right now. Man United are bad. Dude. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I don't yeah. think young boys could beat Man City. <laughs> no. Any team in the Premier League can be any other than. Well, yeah, but young boys wouldn't be any team in the Premier League. Uh, yeah, you can't. You can't. It not, it's literally it's, it's not. First team. It's not just fact when they play one game and they have a. Uh, yeah, but it's like, funny. Yeah, sure, but you don't base. You're not supposed to base your opinions off 
off that entire just that well it's funny to think that Ronaldo leaves Juventus and then he goes and plays young boys and then loses against them sure but they could still top their group they could still go far in the Champions League okay I'm not saying they won't yeah I I don't know it's just like they're destined for the Europa League come on it was a Europa League match Ollie's first trophy the Europa League and I joked about it if they get if they don't finish first or second. If they don't finish first in their group, it's it's gonna be a huge, huge shake in like yeah, like Man United's like run in every competition they're in at that point. Well, that I've won already. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, to be fair, that's why and like you said, two West Ham, but that that's why I was thinking with the because. Uh, Villa went down to penalties with Chelsea. I was thinking, if we got, we shouldn't, and I was really pissed that we went to penalties, but like, you, you get knocked out by Villa, who we did just beat 3 0, but a, a not a bad side. It's not, it's not the worst thing. It's not like getting, I would rather get knocked out by a Premier League team than a non Premier League team. Right. Yeah. You know? Especially a decent uh, Premier League Villa team. team that you knocked out was, was youngsters, though. Yeah, and yeah, and, and they did the yeah. first team. Yeah, so it depends what what size they put out. But United put an experienced, yeah. if not the an experienced. So did West Ham and changed a few as well. You know, but deserved the win. I thought. Mm-hmm. All right then. Wow, we exhausted a few bits there, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So all right. So. Yeah. Um, I did want a little bit of self promotion if you guys don't mind, but it'll benefit the podcast a little bit. Fuck you, isn't it? I've been sitting here <laughs> what quiet. About us? I've been sitting here quiet for twenty minutes. <laughs> All right, go on. So I uh I did start a uh a brand a couple months ago, a guitar brand for any musicians listening. Um I ha- I I've I've built a few uh I I put together guitars, repair guitars, build custom guitars. Um, if you want to check it out, you go to jhowardguitarkits.com. The reason I bring it up is because I think it might be relevant to City fans. Johnny Marr, which I'm pretty happy about, commented on one of my Instagram posts of a, uh, of one of, quality, one of his Fender Jaguars I, I, I posted of setting up the tremolo. So, um, even if you guys just go follow my Instagram, um, at jhowardguitarkits, um, you know, it, it, it really helped me out. Twitter as well, and I'll retweet it from my Twitter account. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. And also, if you um, if you go to the website and you feel like buying anything, uh, you can use the code Five Pints In for ten percent off. And any sales with that code, I'll use to put towards the podcast as well. Um, but yeah, and um, don't go look at the comment from Johnny Mark because it does say "Stop bothering me, dickhead." <laughs> <laughs> No, it doesn't. I mean, I know it wasn't. It wasn't anything big. He, you know, he, he just commented on no, a, vi- yeah, on a no, video I did, yeah, cool. which I was really proud of. Um, but we met him at the Etihad, didn't we? Uh, a couple of years. Uh, it was it, like it's six, five, six. It's years lovely ago. that it's not like he has no idea that you're. Oh yeah. Related to you at all? You know. Yeah. So it was just like really, really cool that that he did that. And I know, like, obviously, there's the Man City connection there or whatever. But any musicians. Who are into guitars and stuff? Um, you know, if you go on the Instagram, you got any guitar questions? I like I I post a lot of videos on how to set up certain guitars. You know, I like there's a, a lot of different things I do on there. If you have any questions, you need any help setting up your own guitar, I'm happy to help. Um, but yeah, just a follow, a comment, let me know you're there. If you want to buy anything, you can use that code Five Pints In on the website. Um, but yeah, and like I said, any any purchases through that with the code, I'll put towards the beers or, or whatever on the podcast um, just as a kind of self sponsor you know so um, I did just want to bring that up but um, yeah have you got anything good you want to say about yourself Con? Um, <laughs> I'm only kidding George I just drew this drawing <laughs> um, well, I figured, made a great place on the fridge I figured <laughs> yeah, I let you guys talk about Ronaldo for 20 minutes so yeah, our favourite <laughs> player thank you all right, right. Like yeah. I said, just send it over on a tweet, and I'll fire it out there. Yeah, appreciate that. But um, Steve Harris is for the West Ham fans. Yeah, Steve 
Done. I've been looking into the, doing a, the, a, a the Steve Harris and, um, base with the uh, the Fender base with the West Ham sticker on it as well. So it's like cream and maroon. Uh, it's cl- it's cl- it's cream with the the claret. the binding. Yeah, the, yeah, I think it's the I think it's got claret binding on it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, maybe twenty percent of our listeners play the guitar, or musicians, or thirty percent. Who knows what it is? But just in case anyone out there is interested, uh, go check it out. And like I said, I'm posting just like build vid- you know videos of building guitars and stuff all the time on instagram so it'd, it'd be nice if you checked it out say hello on there but um yeah and i appreciate you two for letting me plug my he's got a new age oh no this is yeah stuff. right <laughs> and i want 800 grand a week he's gonna have an he's gonna have a new chair next week and we're all gonna be in the same fucking chair yeah. i'll have a brand new microphone yeah. <laughs> And sunglasses. I don't even, believe even though it's my face on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Bishop endorses. <laughs> a new ad. Uh, he, he's gonna be the main. Is that what you just said? He's gonna be the main one. It's just gonna be me and you in the in the bottom corner. Sorry. But yeah, I know. I appreciate you two for uh, not that I asked you or anything before I said that, but thanks for letting me. I know. Yeah, we're gonna have a. This word gets cut this. out. Get a big break, Con. <laughs> He's yeah. branching out on his own. Mbappe, yeah. do you I, want to be Neymar? And I'm also starting. <laughs> I'm starting a new podcast, Six Pints In, where where I drink even more after dark. <laughs> yeah. Where we test the where we test the limit of my liver. Yeah, he'll have his own. He's have his, he'll have his own helmet with the beers on the side. <laughs> and he does. Open up no, I don't have it anymore, but no. I did have one of those. Yeah. <laughs> all right guys well thank you so much for listening um again go out go to uh, again go support us on the patreon patreon.com slash five pints in um you can go sign up for one dollar a month and no, it, no. it it goes towards the beers if you have a if you want to say in the punishment as well you can go again if you sign up for the yeah we're uh, running out of ideas yeah if you if you go sign up for the patreon like i said it starts at one dollars a month you you're putting it towards the beers each week, and you can have your input on what punishment you want us to do <clears> when we lose. Um, obviously, nothing like weird, you know, or crazy. No, yeah, no, nothing Man United related either. Yeah, that's off limits. But um, if you want to get creative with it, you can go there and let us know. And um, it's just hilarious that Connor's holding up this Chelsea flag because 1 0. The scar. Gabriel Jesus, Jesus 1 0. Uh, thanks for listening, was guys. Was it or was it going wide? Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. See you later.